my name is Alex. I'm from Kharkiv, Ukraine. I'm lead developer as at Ford Group. And uh, in my session, I'm going to present to you uh, some um, good tips uh, for uh, cooperating with Acquia. And I want to share my our uh, good experience in cooperating with Acquia. <sighs> Sit closer. Come on. And uh, also, I want to share my good mood. Uh, you look a little tired, me too. And my presentation will contain uh, three big uh, parts. The first one is uh, about Acquia. Acquia is company, and we will discover some uh, multiple aspects of Acquia. We'll look at Acquia in multiple sides. And after that, I suggest you to play a game. I will share with you some uh, questions. The questions you can find in the certification exam in Acquia. And the most active person will want the chocolate. I have some chocolates, guys. Sit closer. If you if you mind. Uh, so let's start. Uh, let's look at Acquia in uh, these four aspects. So for the first, uh, uh, I think everybody knows what, what Acquia is. Uh, I've defined Acquia as a commercial uh, department of Drupal community. Uh, it's uh, uh, also a major player in uh, contrib contributing in Drupal core or in some interesting Drupal models, and it also uh, do it a lot of uh, good things. It supports the most interesting project, as I said, Drupal org. I mean, uh, for example, it supports commerce. It also organizes and sponsors uh, the most important events in the America, mostly. Guys, sit closer. There are too many free space. And much better pictures. But suddenly I can start screaming to you in that corner. Thank you. And. Uh, I think Acquia is the really best Drupal employer. I think everybody dream of uh, be, being hired by Acquia. Everybody wants to work in Acquia. Right? Right. Something right, something no. So let's talk about Acquia as business partner. Uh, partnership with Acquia uh, can be different to partner to partner, but uh, generally uh, the uh, all of you will have the first common step. You just need to contact Acquia. Uh, and uh, after that, you just need to follow the in instruction. Uh, I'm going to provide you some good tips in partnership with Acquia. And the first set, set tips is America is more preferable. And uh, Acquia doesn't declare this, but uh, I think everybody understands that uh, Acquia wants to have a, as partner as some citizen of America or Canada or some other uh, neighbor countries in America. Um, I said as a solution, you can just find a subcontractor in US or Canada, or you can open your own office as we did. The next tip. Uh, for starting cooperation in, with Acquia, you just need to make sure that your team is aware of Acquia Cloud and the developers uh, have, have, have some visions of Acquia Cloud and uh, just uh, have basic understanding how this is going, Acquia Cloud, how, how Acquia Site Factory works which services, services Acquia provides, and so on. 
So I suggest you just the Inacuia cloud. It has uh, free, re free registration, and uh, you can uh, find in Google uh, some uh, free video courses. There are a lot of presentations in the internet, so just Google it. You can see it closer. So let's go. Uh, be ready to new sales. Uh, what does it mean? Um, uh, signing papers with Acquia doesn't mean that uh, you will have a lot of clients. Uh, everything that Acquia guarantees is that you will have uh, some quantity of clients that has some needs. After signing the clients, it's a really it's a job for sales manager. So uh, anyway, you need to contact with your uh, partners from Acquia and uh, Acquia subcontractors and uh, uh, sell them something. Uh, in our experience, our uh, delay between signing papers and uh, our my first talk as a lead developer on the real project, it was near two months. Another tips uh, I can bless you is uh, you have to exercise in certification. As if you are a team lead, you need to enforce that uh, your developers, you, you need to enforce your developers' non certification materials. Acquia provides uh, a lot of materials, and the, all of them should be learned. Another good thing. Uh, there are too many sites, I don't want to share them, but there are too many sites in Google that provide the already answered these questions. Uh, they are pretty similar to the real life exam. And uh, another tip, listen to me in the second part of my uh, presentation, I will show you some uh, questions from the certification exam. Uh, so let's talk about uh, benefits of certification your team. Uh, the main idea is that certification works not only with Acquia. Uh, anyway, certified developers uh, can improve their skills. Uh, once I heard from my clients that certified developers are cheaper than core contributors, but their skill level is same. Uh, don't think so, indeed, but uh, it, it's a re really good situation when clients think so. Uh, and, and as I said, another good uh, aspect of uh, certification is that you you are boosting your team anyway. Your team uh, becomes more skillful, becomes more skilled, and. Uh, mm, I'm sure every person should study something every day, not only in Drupal, in any, uh, in any kind of work. And another, the, the last one, think about Acquia Corporation after all papers are signed, after you have a certified team, uh, you have an access to Acquia uh, system. I forgot the name of the system, but it looks like a table with contacts of uh, clients. So let's. I will give you a few uh, examples of Acquia services. I think uh, you heard about them. Yes? Has anybody heard? Okay. So Acquia Cloud. It's kind of hosting. Uh, with some UI for operating between environments. Acquia Journey, it's a kind of uh, Google Tech Manager. It's a special business analytic tool uh, for making uh, your sales better on, directly on your site. Acquia Lift is a uh, machine learning service which provides user-oriented content and uh, it helps uh, it helps uh, your site to be more reliable, I think. Acquia Shield is kind of CDN uh, with uh, 
it provides a way to protect your site from DDoS attacks. And the last one service is Acquia Commerce Manager. It's, it's a kind of word thing. It's a, in real life, it's a Drupal model with uh, integrating to Magento. It just imports some Magento entities to the uh, Drupal Commerce 2 entities. Uh, let's talk about certification and how the certification looks like. Certification format. Usually it's a testing. Uh, you have like, the questions and uh, each question has uh, uh, four or six potential answers. Sometimes you should uh, to select the correct one. It could be multiple in indeed. Uh, certification forms. You can uh, be certified in two forms, in offline, in some certification centers. No, there are three centers in Ukraine certified to, in Acquia, uh, one in Kharkiv, one in Kiev, and one in Lviv, I think. And of course, you can be certified online. You just need to install web assessor software and after that you will uh, you will have to enter your id for example you can attach your photo your and you another trick it's uh, this software invent uh, uh, some personal identifications you just need to enter your name and surname in uh, multiple times. It recognizes the rhythm when you kick, 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 when you enter your name and before the exam you need to repeat uh, your name and surname I mean repeat entering your name and surname in the, with the same rhythm, with the same seed and so on. It's strange and it doesn't, it didn't work for me. Uh, I just to write down a message to the contact center and they <laughs> unblock me <laughs> soft. It's pretty secure, I think. Yeah. Certification break. Yeah. You can be certified in uh, four directions. You can be site builder. It's a kind of man who doesn't aware about custom coding. Uh, site builder just uh, able to use it models on core or core models. Another one is developer. The name is Acquia Certified Developer. All of them. Uh, so Acquia develop uh, Acquia Certified Developer. It means uh, you have. Base knowledge about zooming, about uh, customizing some existing models and creating some custom models. <coughs> and the last one is front end or it's a, a track for checking your skills in zooming, in creating styles, in developing markups, and developing some JavaScript code. And the last certification track, the most profitable, it's a Acquia Grandmaster. The Acquia Grandmaster means you have passed these three certifications. That's it in, for the first part. So let's lay. Uh, have you ever heard about game who wants to be a millionaire? It was Oshaslichik in our country. So, I've updated some rules of this game. Uh, on my slides, we'll have one answer from the Aqua certification, and you need to put your hand up and show the number of answer. No, just the number. One is for A, two is for B, 
three fingers for C and four is for D. Does anybody understand? Pain? <laughs> the winner will have some chocolate and the most active uh, person also will have some sweets. <laughs> Let's start. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the plural HP. Uh, with the, you can sit closer if you don't see the expression. Any ideas? What's the correct answer? You was the first. Why? Uh, which operation will be uh, the first? This one, right? Okay. Thank you, Dasha. Yeah, the one. And another question, it's for uh, developer certification, I think, how can you recognize slowdown based queries in Drupal? For, I don't know who was the first. Can you explain? Why <laughs> the answer number one is not correct? B? He was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Which command will commit and push all your changes? Choose the most secure. Why is the number, why the E is not correct? <laughs> um, D, C. Why C or why D? You have to get things first. You have to get the things first. Right. Otherwise, you are just pushing everything and might. Yeah, but there is not no force, so D can be also good, uh, sort of. No, B D can be good. Sorry. Uh, I suppose the most core is B because fetch will uh, get all the branches, so it can can, can be worked sometimes. It's a real question for, for from certification. Is it? indeed I don't know the correct one indeed, but I answer D. <laughs> e. <laughs> e. <laughs> Which rule in Mongo wrote in one L will allow access administrators only? Choose the Drupal way answer. B. Everybody agree? No. Nope. Everybody <laughs> agree? It's for you. <laughs> C? 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 Admin wrote? No. Admin wrote? Who knows uh, what is the purpose of uh, admin wrote? Yeah. It will use just admin team. Right. D? Why D? Indeed, both variants are possible. This one is also, I think, right, but you will have to. Who wants the B? B? No, you was the C. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
just answered this one. This is also possible, but I think both variants. The last roll, then guy. <laughs> And I have much more chocolate than the next question. It's a question. B, why B? So let's discuss uh, why the uh, first one is not correct. So we need to run save methods, right? Okay. Here is yes, indeed the B is correct because there are only way we have save method who wants b you do right and the guy in the last row dasha please you will be our transmitter no <laughs> <laughs> Um, huh, my favorite question. How to say Drupal do not aggregate your GS code? <laughs> do not aggregate your code. <laughs> okay. Why A? No, it's minified. Aggregation is when we combine multiple files. D, D. Uh -huh. Any other ideas? No. Number B blush is not correct. <laughs> what does it mean, number D? It means that uh, do not aggregate. It means do not combine multiple files. One. It means that, you know the correct answer is C. Blush is it's for you. <laughs> Uh -huh. How to get the time when cron was run last time? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What B? Nice. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> he will be the first need. I would advise you to sit closer. <laughs> so, why be? <laughs> we have a microphone, I think. I think that uh, last time of running Chrome is saved in configuration. Uh huh. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any other ideas? It's a, yes. To Balash, and what's your name? Andre. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, 
And another one question, I think everybody writes Coeto tests. So you need to do complex multi-step Drupal form. Which test class do you have to extend for functional testing? Any other ideas? Why? <laughs> Indeed, uh, in other words, the thinking of this question is, uh, is form test base class able to test multi-step form? <laughs> Who said the A? Raise your hand. A. Who thinks A? Yes. A, right. I don't remember how many questions I have. Uh, ah, good thing. You need to update country models. What is the correct way to do it? I do see every time. Four. Uh, ha, ha. B or D? D. D. Yes, D. Why D? Does Composer is able to create in patches? Can we create a hatch using Composer? B or D? You need to choose. <laughs> no, I think Composer create patches. But you can implement patches using uh, Composer. Indeed, apply, yes. Drushed up. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I'll wait next time. Uh, who was first? I don't remember. It will, it will be the super prize. <laughs> oh. You roll custom model where you output a monitor text, but in the custom template, HTML text doesn't work. How to solve this problem? To use entity rendering to output format text. Three. Three. Yeah. And the nuts goes to guys in wild t-shirt. The answer is number three. You can use uh, processed text. Yes, it's the uh, most Drupal way. I recommend this solution. And it was the last. So the most active guys. Uh, Be ready to ask questions. It's for you. It's for you. Take. It's for you. What's yes? Do you have? Oh, right. So, any questions to our guests? Oh, okay, let me thank Cassandra and uh, give out him a special certificate. Oh. Yeah, video.
Thank you, guys. See you this evening.